Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing and testing out the QSC K12 loudspeaker. Now, this is a thousand watt loudspeaker, and I just wanna say now before getting into the rest of this video that this is a little bit more expensive than most things that I review on this channel, so you may wanna check the description for how much money it is, but I'm gonna be testing it out and showing you how it sounds. So let's get into the video. So first off, portability of this thing. This thing has a handle on the top and on the side, and weighs in at a pretty light 41 pounds for speaker of this size. Now, as I already said, it has a thousand watt driver in it with a class D type amplifier in it and has a 12 inch woofer and a one inch tweeter on top. So with these multiple handles, it makes it simple for putting onto stands and makes it quite easy for carrying around like I already said. And now for the I.O. Now first I just want to mention that this speaker has one thing that many speakers of this same type do not have, and that is the ability to go from a zero degree angle to a seven and a half degree angle aiming down at your audience. So if you have your speaker up at like a tall height and you're wanting to aim it down towards your audience more, then you can move it simply by just turning the entire thing and it goes back from zero to seven and a half that easy. So for actual I.O. what you have is you have multiple XLR inputs and a couple 1 4 inch connectors and if you just want simple connection and quick and easy you can use the phone connector or really for anything you want. Now for actual control you have multiple different things there is the volume knobs for A and B right here that you can control and then there is also some low frequency adjustments for external sub normal mode and a special deep mode by QSC which really enhances all of the deep parts of music and sounds amazing when turned on. Also for high frequency you can turn it to vocal boost or just flat and then for the front LED you can actually choose if it shows power or limit or you just have the LED turned off altogether. And then down a little bit further you obviously have the locking power plug and then you also have the power button to turn it on. Along with that, you'll see that there is a small fan right here that actually cools the internals when you're pumping music out quite loudly. And honestly, you really never hear that when listening to music. So you don't have to worry about hearing that while actually in use. All right, so now to actually giving this thing a listen. Like I said earlier, there are quick inputs here for when you wanna listen to music on the go, which is how I always listen through this. So plug that in and then power it on of course and then the settings that i'm going to be using is i'm going to be using flat and then deep mode because why not now for actual volume i'm going to be turning this thing up only a fourth of the way because this thing packs a loud 131 decibels when turned fully up so uh i kind of don't want my neighbors hating me today so let's get into actually listening to some music i'm going to be playing cold hearted by bryce fox Go and click the description below to find the song yourself if you want to listen to it. So as you can hear already, it's quite loud. It's somewhere north of Florida. Now this thing is quite loud. I'm now moving, I don't know, I'm getting close to like 100 feet away right now. And it's still super clearly loud. See, it's way over there right now. Now the sound signature of this, it has a 75 degree radius of putting out music. So this is straight on right now. Again, it's right there. I'm straight on right now with the speaker. And I don't know how well you can hear this, but it is very loud. So right now I'm just gonna be walking to the side more. Get to the edge of that 75 degree radius. So it's still super clear right here. Getting to the edge now. So as you can hear there, there is definitely a difference now when moving outside of that radius, but still sounds really good. So this thing really packs a punch and could definitely fill a backyard with just a single speaker. Keep in mind, yeah, this is a single speaker that I'm using. You can obviously buy dual of these or four of them. I mean, you can buy them to your heart's content, but I only have one of them and it honestly fits all of my needs and it fills up a backyard with music. And 
that is what many people want when purchasing a speaker similar to this. So uh, like I said, it can get up to 131 decibels. I'm not going to be doing that here today in this video because uh, my neighbors are home and again, I don't want them hating me. So once again, that was only at a fourth of the way to full volume. I mean, you can turn it all the way to plus 10 and basically blow out your eardrums. Like literally, if you're standing right next to it, I'm sure you'd probably eventually uh, blow your eardrums because it is very loud. So on one more test, I just wanna show a close up of how it sounds instead of just walking far away if you're wanting to listen. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an audio test right here and you guys can listen to it up close. But my wings are frozen, cold like Minnesota, pen in between the borders with the rest. The low frequency response of this thing is amazing. The 12 inch woofer inside of there, honestly, it packs a punch and sounds super great. Actually, one more test that I'm gonna do really quickly is show you the difference between the deep mode and just normal bass. So let's listen to the difference between that. All right, so now for this test of normal mode versus deep mode, I have a camera placed about 20 feet away and I also have my Rode Video Micro recording right there. And I obviously, I have a lav mic right here, but uh, I'm gonna be doing the sound through the Rode Video Micro, so hopefully you can hear a difference. If not, believe me, in person you can definitely hear a difference. So first off, I'm gonna be playing the song with normal mode on instead of deep mode. Okay, so this first mode, like I said, is normal. As you can hear, it already has a lot of bass there, but now I'm gonna turn on deep mode. That difference? You like hills and yoga. There's definitely more bass in that when you enable normal mode. So uh, try and use that as often as I can because it gets just the right amount of bass into the music and it sounds great. So in the end, what I suggest you guys going out and purchasing this, I mean, it's got great IO and it sounds amazing with the deep mode and everything else you can do with it. But should you buy it yourself? Well, one thing I gotta say is if you found this video in the first place, you're probably either already considering buying it or you're probably a loyal subscriber of me and you're just watching this video just because, which by the way, thank you. But I would have to say that I have heard many DJ speakers and active loudspeakers and this one has honestly stood out enough for me to purchase it for the price. I mean, and it's not just because of the price. It just, it sounds amazing and it blows me away and still sounds amazing to this day. But if you're looking to purchase this yourself, I'd like to mention that this is the older unit. This one came out in 2014, but this year in 2017, a K12.2 actually came out from QSC, and that one is actually 2,000 watts. So, I mean, it's $100 more. It's really up to you what you want to spend your money on if you wanna buy a speaker like this at all. But in conclusion, I think this thing sounds amazing and you should definitely buy it if you're looking for a great sounding active speaker that looks great and is very functional. So anyways guys, that's pretty much for this video. I hope it helped you out. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe and see more videos from me in the future, make sure to click that circle below to subscribe even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to check out my last video, that should be up there and some random video should be down there. So yeah guys, that's pretty much for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.